Okay, for the final video in this series, what I wanted to do is show you how I think, and the evidence is going to bear me out on this, you could essentially make a, quote, free energy device using the energy that's readily available out there in, in the world um, to maybe light a light for essentially forever until the light bulb wears out or um, the way I thought of it was to use it to produce hydrogen and oxygen from water use it to create electrolysis and that's how I'm going to describe it here but there are some other uses too and I'm going to bring in some uh, resources that are already available so you can see that this is really probably possible and I don't know that anybody's actually done it but it would be so cool just to put it together and have it work just as a, as a demo just to say look this is what's possible maybe this is something we could aspire to is to be able to have this kind of free energy at our disposal and um, so let me get back onto the computer and we'll have a look at this now I personally think this might be one of the most cool things that I could do and I haven't gotten around to doing it and I've realized that I probably never will so I'm going to tell you how to do it and see if and I really want to see if anybody can do this one because this one is so cool and it's just kind of making a free energy device but it's something that should work based on what just common science tells you it should be made be able to be made to work so <clears throat> I'll show you something similar here it's another YouTube video um, it's a guy I will look he has uh, atmospheric electricity powering a corona motor it's uh, an electrostatic motor and here's how he did it um, basically he took a drone ran a wire like 350 feet into the air and built a uh, an electrostatic corona motor and ran the wire that was in the air to one side of the motor and then a wire out the other side into the ground and this allowed the charge the potential difference that exists between those two points the ground and the 350 feet in the air to equalize through that wire and it does turn the motor okay so let me show you what I mean here we'll look we'll look at a little bit Hi, of this. Here's my Corona motor running on atmospheric electricity. It was just a wire extending up from the Corona motor high up into the air. It took a few tries and the enormous help of a friend with a large enough hexacopter willing to lift the wire up. And as you can see, it works. The motor is called a Corona motor and is an electrostatic type of motor. Atmospheric electricity isn't powerful enough to run an electromagnetic motor, the type you encounter every day. Wires connected from the earth ground to one side of the corona motor, and other wires connected to the other side of the corona motor, and goes up into the sky around 120 meters, or 390 feet up. The top end of the wire goes to six sharp points, made of six sewing pins. The fishing line around four meters, or 13 feet long, goes from there up to the hexacopter. That's to minimize or eliminate any effect the hexacopter might have on the atmospheric electricity. It took a couple of trips out to large fields to work out all the kinks. Here's setting it up on the first trip, starting with the corona motor. Okay, so I'll put a link to this video in, in the video description. So that's just what I want to illustrate, that you can just basically hang a wire into the air and get usable electrical energy. Um, now there's some things here that you have to bear in mind when you're doing this. You can't be close to any... Um, power lines because the you know just AC field of the power line will induct electrical energy into a nearby wire so you want to make sure you're not using that electricity <clears throat> and um, in, in his example in this video he uses uh, energy to fly the hexacopter and the wire up in the air and then hover it there so there's no way you can say you're getting more energy out of the corona motor than you're expending to do all that However, the way I had originally envisioned this was a little bit different. Um, as far as the way the potential difference builds between the surface of the Earth and points in the atmosphere, I had it figured that you only really needed to be about 30 feet in the air and use, instead of a wire like that with sharp points, use uh, like a copper plate about um, 10 square feet. Um, 
and that would then be your collector and then run a wire from there down to the ground through whatever device it is you want to power and like he said it's probably not a lot of current that's going to flow but there there is some so you have to find the right thing here and um, instead of hanging your plate from a drone since it's only 30 feet in the air there's a lot of things you could put it on if you could find an old phone pole with no electrical wires on it anymore <clears throat> mounted at the top of that on some sort of insulators like you know rubber or something so it's insulated from the ground and the pole and then run a wire down that would be one way to do it so anyway or a tree or whatever anyway you can get it 30 feet in the air and uh, run a cable down to the ground or wire down to the ground so now it's just a matter of then what do you what do you run it through um, let's look at an electrolysis cell. well first let's say what about an LED could we run it through an LED? Because LEDs require a potential difference, a pretty decent potential difference, but they use very little current. Well, that seems like it would sort of lend itself to this situation. So LEDs are one thing, and imagine that. You just have this copper plate, insulated copper plate, 30 feet in the air, and a wire, and some LEDs, and then into the ground, and your lights light up, and they'll essentially light until the LEDs burn out and without any um, additional energy input from you and they're not dependent on the wind they're not dependent on the Sun um, there's some variation in voltage you know by season and by temperature and stuff like that um, but uh, it's it's there and and something that requires a voltage without much current um, it could work and that's what made me think of electrolysis because, you know, as I, I've said in a couple other videos, an electrolysis cell with just the electrodes, inert electrodes, and pure water is a capacitor. It's, it's a water capacitor. So you can build a huge potential difference on one side and, <clears throat> you know, then you have your capacitor, with your charged capacitor. Now, when you add electrolyte into that water capacitor, you get a leaky capacitor so some of the current can pass through and in order for the current to pass there has to be a certain potential difference that's built and maintained so an electrolysis cell would be ideal because you could put an electrolysis cell in your wire between the sky and the ground and it would act like a capacitor until it built up enough potential difference for current to flow and then whatever current is there should be able to flow and when current flows through an electrolysis cell you're going to evolve hydrogen gas with inert electrodes and the right electrolytes such as um, sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide you're going to evolve hydrogen at the cathode and oxygen at the anode and then you can use those gases recombine them and use them for energy somewhere else and that's totally free because the potential difference between the earth and a point in the atmosphere is creating the potential difference there and it'll maintain it you know forever it, there might be some fluctuations but it'll maintain it forever so you can produce hydrogen all day all night all day all night every day just using the energy of the earth and that turns the energy of the earth into a form that you can like save up and use it later you know or use it in, in a totally different way than you could ever then you could use the little bit of energy that you're getting out of the atmosphere um, so i just thought that was a really cool demonstration and something that could fairly easily be done without a whole lot of investment so if anybody is into doing that please do it and if you do let me know if it works comment um you know tell me about it take a video you know post videos post images I would like to see it work. I really would. It's just, um, I, I know I won't do it myself for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but I know I won't. So if somebody wants to do it, please do. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing the results. All right. See you later. Thanks.